guys, welcome to my channel. 欢迎来到我的频道。所以今天呢，我想用一个比较特别的方式来教你们台湾人平常说的中文。All right. So today, I would like to use a special way to teach you how Taiwanese people speak in day-to-day -day life. Why I'm trying to emphasize on day-to-day -day life is because the thing, the content that I'm going to show you later, is the thing that you wouldn't learn on like textbooks or like traditional education system, just because they are not considered formal. But yeah, everybody speaks like that, so why not? I want to deliver the most authentic way of speaking in Taiwan. All right, so the way I'm gonna use is actually pick up some comments. Under a news, okay, online news, and sometimes people see the news and they make comments, right? 他们会留言 leave a comment, 留言 and from the 留言 you can learn tons of things, especially like super native local slang way <laughs> to um you know it's it's super cool and it's free, so I highly suggest you to learn. Authentic Mandarin from the comments, either on YouTube or like Facebook. There are a lot of things, a lot of platforms that you can find. And honestly, this is also my favorite way to learn, like very authentic and native way of English, Spanish, Japanese. Is it works so well <laughs> because people are not. People, they are not teachers, right? They're not trying to be formal. They just express their self, themselves themselves、um, as a human being. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get started. Let's see the first comments. Ah, 对了，我忘记告诉你们，这个新闻 the news that I picked, uh, is actually from yesterday. 是昨天的新闻。昨天呢，在台湾有一个很大的地震。呃、uh, ，yesterday in Taiwan. At night, there were a big earthquake, and、uh, yeah, 我在网络上看到这个新闻，然后下面就有很多的留言。Uh, so I check out the news, and I saw there were a lot of comments, and I want to pick up some and teach you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first one is 刚才邻居的狗先叫，然后手机才响。Okay, so um, this you see this comment here. It says 刚才刚才 means just. Okay, not long ago. Okay, 刚才邻居邻居 is neighbor. 邻居的狗 the dog of my neighbor. 先叫叫 is it could be like scream or shout for animal is like. For dog is barking, right? Okay, and what is this xian? Xian is actually follows. It comes together with this 然后 It's a sentence structure that expresses something happened first, and then the other thing happens later. Okay, so 先叫 the dog of my neighbor first, like bark first, right? And then 然后呃、uh, 手机风才响 Okay, so in Taiwan we have this、uh, cell phone earthquake alarm system. So if there's an earthquake going to happen and your cell phone, you need the 手机会响响 means ring like bang bang bang. I hate it because it's so loud, 很大声然后很可怕 <laughs> freaks me out. Okay, so again, 刚才邻居的狗先叫 first bark. 然后手机才响 ，and then my cell phone ring. So he probably just want to say like dog know knew it first, right? Okay. So 先哒哒哒哒，然后 first something happen, and then other thing happen. Good. Number two. 天佑台湾，大家平安。天佑台湾 means God bless Taiwan. Okay. 然后呢，大家平安 means everyone be safe. Okay, so whenever we have any like natural disaster or maybe a war happening, and you will say 天佑 whichever country or place 天佑 God bless somewhere some people, and 大家平安 everyone be safe. Okay, number three. 这件事告诉我。要随时穿好衣服
，尤其是内裤。<laughs> this one literally made me laugh because it says 这件事 this matter, this thing, 这件事告诉我 tells me 要随时 you need any time. 随时 means any time. 穿好衣服 put on your clothes well. Put on your clothes well. 尤其是 means. Especially blah blah blah. 尤其是内裤，内裤 means underwear. <laughs> okay, it is true because we never know when the earthquake will happen, right? 对啊，所以呢，就是要随时穿好衣服 Otherwise, you're gonna run out naked. Number four, 地震，我在上大号啊 Oh my god! So, 地震 literally means earthquake. Okay. 我在 I was. So this structure is like this: subject plus 在 plus verb means you are currently or you were currently doing something. So this person say, "What is 上大号 Oh my god, 上大号 is do do. Okay. Okay, so you you all know. Okay, so you know when the earthquake happened, I was. You know, <laughs> oh my gosh! So you know, yes. Most important thing: subject 在 plus verb means doing something ing currently. Okay. Next one: 头好晕，头好晕，头 head 晕 means dizzy. Okay. Um, you probably learn um 很 in the um textbook. 头很晕。Your head feel dizzy. You feel dizzy, basically. But in day to day life, we instead of using 很 we say 好 a lot because that、um, include our emotion and that express that we were surprised about about something. Okay, so so、uh, a lot of time you can hear people maybe see some cute kid and they say 好可爱哦，好可爱。Right. Instead of saying 很可爱，很可爱 is just like the kid is cute. But if we say 好可爱 use 好 that kind of saying like oh such a cutie something like that. Okay, include your emotion.、Hmm? All right, so that's it. These are the funny comments and useful grammar that、um, we will use in our day to day life. And I hope you enjoy this video. And actually, all the Grammar that I mentioned in this video, I told them in my beginner speaking course. Learn Taiwanese Mandarin from zero to hero two point zero is already being updated. And plus, good news is that I add three monthly code live Q and A code that、uh, my student can talk to me on live and ask me question. Yeah, so um, I told these topics in my course, so you know that. Uh, all the grammar that I choose in my course are super useful, and people do really use them in their day-to-day -day life. So I really hope to see you there. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.